Andrew Sensei here and welcome to a new video. This time I'll start with Mathematics Exam of Max 2008 Part 1 Miscellaneous Problems. So let's do it. If the square root of 6 plus the square root of a plus the square root of 6 minus the square root of a is equal to the square root of 14, then the value of a is. So the topic here is nested radicals, especially the way to convert two simple radicals into a double radical. So for this problem, let b m 6 plus the square root of a and m 6 minus the square root of a. Apply the identity, we have this expression. Cancel out the square root of a and this product is a difference of squares. So simplifying it, cancel out the square roots and we get a simple equation, which the value of a is 35. Next problem. The remainder of the division of x cubed by x squared minus x plus 1 is, and that of x to the 2007 power by x squared minus x plus 1 is. So the topic here is a polynomial remainder theorem. Every division has its composition. Dividend equal to divisor times quotient plus reminder. So x cubed is equal to x squared minus x plus 1 multiplied by the quotient and a reminder. The polynomial reminder here makes the divisor equal to 0. And find a rational x which replacing this expression gives only the reminder. So here x squared minus x plus 1 is equal to 0. But since this expression has no rational value for x equal to 0, we can multiply both sides by x plus 1. So here, x cubed minus 1 is equal to 0, so x cubed is equal to minus 1. Now here, we multiply both sides by x plus 1, replace this value, x cubed equal to minus 1, here, cancel out the zero, and finally get that the remainder is equal to minus 1. For x to the 2007 power, we must do the same steps. The divisor is equal to 0, multiply by x plus 1 on both sides, finally get x cubed equal to minus 1. But here we have x to the 2007 power. So 2007 is equal to 3 times 669. x cubed is equal to minus 1 to the odd number is still minus 1. Now we multiply here by x plus 1. Now replace these values, cancel out the zeros, and finally we get that the remainder is minus 1. So remainder are minus 1 and minus 1. Next problem. The solution of the inequality logarithm in base 2 of x plus 1 is less than or equal to 3. So the topic here is logarithmic function. We will write the problem here, and we should remember that the domain of logarithmic function is greater than 0. So x plus 1 is greater than 0. Finally, x is greater than minus 1. Here, we solve this inequality x plus 1 is less than or equal to 2 to the cube, 2 cube is 8, and x is less than or equal to 7. We intersect this, and finally get that x is greater than minus 1, and less or equal to 7. Next problem. Let a be a point on the curve x squared plus y squared minus 2x minus 4 equal to 0. If the tangent line to c at a passes through point p for 3, then the line of AP is. So the topic here is analytic geometry. This curve is a cone. We complete the squares. Here is the x minus 1 to square. So finally, we can realize that it is a circumference with a center of 1, 0. Drawing the coordinates under the circumference. Now the point P for 3 and a tangent line passes through the point A. If this is A, this segment, CA, is a radius and is a perpendicular. Now the radius is square root of 5 since this equation. How can we calculate the length of AB? First, we need to calculate this distance, BC. Let D the distance between these points and we calculate by the formula. The distance of square is equal to 4 minus 1 to the square plus 3 minus 0 squared. So the square is equal to 18. Now, the triangle ABC, 
we apply the Pythagorean theorem. So p squared plus square root of 5 squared is equal to d squared. So finally we get a p is equal to a square root of 13. Next problem. Let x and y be two natural numbers such that x is less than y, x plus y is 96, and the greatest common divisor of x and y is 16. Then the values of x and y is... So the topic here is the greatest common divisor. If the GCD of x and y is 16, we can rewrite x and y as 16a and 16b, respectively, where a and b are coprimes, or in other words, their GCD is 1. And since the problem says x is less than y, so a is less than b. So with these two conditions, we have x plus y is equal to 96. We replace these values, and simplifying 16, and a plus b is equal to 6. So we must determine two values, which the sum is 6, and satisfy these conditions. So the values are 1 and 5. Finally, x is equal to 16, and y is equal to 8. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel to watch the news videos. Visit my Facebook page, Europe Essential, and my social media, Joshua Vilches. See you next video.